Hello everybody and welcome back to um, video number seven of my collection of tag series and in this one we're going to make the November tag. I got out all of my inks that were sort of autumn -y colours so I've got um, Spice Marmalade, Rusty Hinge, Dried Marigold, Bundled Sage, Scattered Straw, Wild Honey and Vintage Photo and then um, I've got my UT embossing stamp pad and my coffee archival ink. I've got um, some glossy accents and two bits of vintage seam binding. One um, inked with the, uh, I think it was the, let's just find it, Rusty Hinge and the other piece inked with the Bundled Sage. I've got lots of leaves and acorns cut out of the um, decorative strip, the Sizzix decorative strip, which is whoops, the Autumn Gathering. And also I've cut two large leaves out of the Tim Holtz um, Tattered Leaves die. Here they are. So I've got my pile of leaves. And then I've already stamped a sentiment out of um, one of the visual artistry stamp collections, that's the Tim Holtz one. I've got two tags, two eyelets and my letters. And some ink and stickles, which is the paprika stickles. And let's start with... Um, colouring the tags and the leaves. So let me just get the inks together. It was a bit hit and miss. I, I'm really not sure what ink I used on what leaf. I was just sort of experimenting with the different colours. So um, let me just line them all up and then we'll zoom in. Oops. Vintage photo, let's get the green one. Move that out of the way. So to start off with, um, let's move the leaves. I'm just going to ink the tag. And I'm, I'm going to start by going around it with vintage photo. Just to put an edge on it and get rid of those white sides. And then I'm going to turn it over and just ink around that edge on the back. It'll be hidden, but if the front and back of the tags aren't lined up properly, it stops you from seeing a cream or a white um, join down the sides. Let's just move that one. So that's the outside done. And then, let's put that on there. I'm just going to start... Uh, with a bit of scattered straw just working across the middle of the tag just in a round circular motion just to put some yellow ink down there let's just turn it round And then I'm going to take, um, which one shall I use? I think this one, which is the dried marigold. And I'm just going to work that in from the edge to the centre. I love these colours, really sort of rustic autumnal colours. So 
that one's covered. And then I'm going to take the bundled sage and just work that over the top, just sort of randomly around the around the edge. heavy on the corners. I like the corners to be quite heavy. Just to give that mottled effect. And then on top of that I'm just going to um, take my like, um, I don't know what you call it cowslip stamp and using the archival ink I'm just going to stamp some wispy um, they're not flowers <laughs> I don't know what you call them just across let's do another one there the bottom of the tag one more there just up that side and then two just on the edge and then onto that I'm going to put the embossing ink around the edge so. and then I'm just going to put one layer of um, UT on working that around the edge but not coming in too far so, so that's all ready to be embossed so I'll just put my embossing powder in the tray and then I'm just going to dip that in And I'm just going to heat that um, and just melt all of those crystals around the edge. And there's the tag all heat embossed. So now what I'm going to do is take the bundled sage ink and just go over the embossed area and that ink will work its way in between the melted crystals and give just a really nice effect around the edge. It just works its way down onto the card that hasn't been embossed and just gives a really nice look to it. then I'm just going to add a little bit more um, of the, which one? I've lost the lid, I can't, oh dried marigold. Turn it around. So there's the base of the tag done and now the leaves. Let's get everything out, all the colours. A couple of the leaves I've already um, stained or inked with vintage, uh, not vintage photo, uh, rusty hinge, just using different pressure with my um, ink pad. And then I've put some stickles on top of those. Um, So just using the inks, um, just colour up all your little leaves 
if you're uh, using these tiddly leaves. Um, I'm just using a combination of um, spice marmalade, scattered straw, what was the orange one? I lost that one. Um, rusty hinge and dried marigold with a bit of green on as well. So um, I've got these corn heads and those ones, whoops, I think I'm, those ones I am colouring with the scattered straw. Scattered straw. I do like to work on my fingers um, when I'm inking little bits and pieces because you get a, a stronger colour, I find. So I'm just going to do all the corn heads in the scattered straw. I think on my tag I put three of these. They were a bit fiddly, but so that's oops. three of those. And then I'm going to use the dried marigold and do a couple of these maple leaves. do them really dark. Actually this is a rusty hinge. What am I telling you? This one is the dried marigold which is the lighter orange. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the um, scattered straw on the side as well. Just all the leaves this time of autumn time are all different colours so um, just experiment with your inks and just build up um, a collection of leaves that are sort of autumnal colours. I'm going to do um, one that's still got a little bit of green left on it and that's with the bundled sage and then in the middle I'm going to put some of the dried marigold on that one just work that over the green and do another one the two big ones I've um, inked with uh, the dried marigold and that one is uh, Vintage Photo. Just put a little bit of green on that one. And that goes on there. And a little bit of rusty hinge on that one. And then the acorns, I covered the bottom with the bundled sage. honey. Let's just grab that one. Just a different corner. Just to make them a bit a bit brighter. They're a bit fiddly but and then the green at the bottom. experiment with what you've got. Let's put a bit of um, vintage photo on that one. Make him look nut-like. <laughs> Have I got enough? Let's do 
one more large one and I'm going to do that one quite strong um, with the rusty hinge. and really work that one in to get a really nice deep orange look with a little bit of scattered straw just across that. So that's my leaf collection. Next I'm just going to cover the um, letters and I'm using Rusty Hinge for those. do get very inky. <laughs> Another one. Why does it go on my rusty hinge ink? Lost it. And the V. I didn't put any stickles on the letters. I just left them plain orange and then I'm just going to use a vintage photo to do the eyelets which will go at the top of the tag And all that's left to do now is just the sentiment and that one I'm going to, I've just stamped it on a piece of card, I'm going to cover it in um, the scattered straw with a bit of rusty hinge in it and then I'm going to put some more rusty hinge around the edge. And then I'm just using my nail, but you can use a distress tool. I'm just flicking over the edges of the square. Just curl it up. And then I'm going to use Vintage Photo and just work that downwards and then up just to cover that white torn edge and to get into those nicks that I've put on the sides. And work the corners up. And just do that with the stamp pad, just sort of curling them over. And that gives a nice autumnal look to that little sentiment. And then the next thing to do is to put the back and the front of the tag together. I've already put some double sided tape. On the back of the tag I've just gone around the outside with uh, vintage photo ink. I've put some double sided tape on the other side and then I've gone around the edges again with the vintage photo ink. And now I'm just going to line the two tags up and very carefully stick them together. Before adding all of the detail to the front. And then that flattens the tag, gives it a nice back and the edges are all nice and dark when we've gone around them with the ink. Um, next I'm going to put the sentiment on, so I'm just going to use some uh, just tacky glue and whoops, let's put this the right way. Okay. Put my letters where I want them. They're just going to go over the top there. 
so let's stick those down. So just tacky glue on the back of the sentiment. And on the back of the letters. Turn it round and see what it looks like. That's fine. And now I'm going to start to build up the leaves. The two large leaves that I've got, I just bent them slightly just to lift them up um, down that central vein line. And then, oops, excuse my arm. I'm just going to, um, which side's going to share that side? I'm just going to put some rusty hinge ink on the back of them as this one will curl up and stick out over the side of the tag. And then I'm going to put some tacky glue right at the centre of that one. And that one is going to go up there. I'm just going to press it down along that central vein. And then the other one, I'm going to bend it up slightly again. Just put a little bit of shading on the back of it. I must admit I forgot to do this. And then that one's going to go over that way. So again, I'm going to just put some glue down that centre line. Place it down. And then just run my finger over that central line of glue just to stick it down. And then everything else I just built up over the top. Uh, so let's have a sparkly leaf. Not placed any particular way, just uh, layered over those two bigger leaves and then just sort of poked in between. And where I could get the leaves to stick up, I did. So glue on the back. It's just, oh, no, not enough glue. You could use pop dots to do this. I wanted to raise them up more. Right, let's put the straw in. So I'm just going to poke one straw ear under there. And another one. Down here. Not pressing them down, I'm just um, touching them where the glue area is and just sort of attaching them just very lightly and they will stick. Um, I'm just going to poke that one out through there. And then the acorns, I'm just going to stick down at the bottom here. I'm sure I had three. Perhaps I didn't count. Yes, 
see if there's, oh yeah, there's one more. One more acorn. And then. Pop him down there in that. Bottom corner. And that's it. That's my autumn display of leaves. And then all that's left to do is to put the eyelets on. Let's put some glue there. Or hole reinforcers. One on the front and one on the back. Press that on. And uh, seam binding. So I've got two pieces to go through one green and one orange. I think the green one is covered with the, let me just tell you, bundled sage. And the orangey one has been inked and dyed with the rusty hinge. That one up, scrumple them up so they sit nicely at the top. And then let me see if my glossy accents is working. And then I covered the letters with glossy accents. Mine's not coming out of its tube. Let's just try it. No, it's not having it. Oh, it is. And then just cover the letters in glossy accents just to shine them up. Or you can glitter them or. coming out very well. I'm pressing really, really hard. If your glossy accents doesn't work, just drop the um, top of the bottle into a little cup of boiling water and it just melts the glue rather than Trying to stick a pin up that little nozzle. There. And that's the autumn tag, November tag, finished. So I hope you've enjoyed that and um, look forward to you joining me in the next video, which is the last of the series and the December tag.